love from with Pat's two cents. Listen, um, what I want to tell you is this. I'm going to read Isaiah 54. And the reason uh, I was, I thought I was done. And this popped in my mind so clear. And I am supposing that God knows there are many of you who have come out of broken relationships, broken marriages, things have fallen apart in your lives, male and female. And you are sitting there with a very broken spirit right now. And you're trying to make sense out of it all. Well, let me tell you one thing. Not one of the scars you've gotten through life, not one of the painful experiences you've had, not one of them are wasted. Because when you place them in God's hands, good always comes out of it. That's why the Bible says all things work together for our good to those who love God and who are called according to his purpose. This is for you. Be comforted, brother and sister. Be comforted, the brokenhearted. Be comforted, those of you who feel like you have made a mess out of your life and now you're reaping the whirlwind. Be comforted because God is a healer and a restorer. Listen, verse one, sing, O barren, thou that didst not bear. Break forth in the singing and cry aloud. Thou that didst not travail with child, for more are the children of the desolate than the children of the married wife, saith the Lord. So for those of you who feel like you haven't done much, you haven't accomplished much, you, you, you've done more wasting than building, God knows how to bring beauty out of that. Two, enlarge the place of thy tent. And let them stretch forth the curtains of thine habitation. Spare not. Let, lengthen thy cords and strengthen thy stakes. Gird yourself and get ready to explode on every side. Because God will use your heartache to be a blessing. There's an expression that we hear in church nowadays. Your mess will become your message. I'm mixing Pat's two cents in with God's word, so understand that. Verse three, for thou shalt break forth on the right hand and on the left, and thy seed shall inherit the Gentiles and make the desolate cities to be inhabited. Even those things that you think are dead and gone, God can bring back to life. Verse four, Fear not, for thou shalt not be ashamed, neither be confounded, for thou shalt not be put to shame, for thou shalt forget the shame of thy youth and shall not remember the reproach of your widowhood anymore. For thy maker is thy husband. The Lord of hosts is his name. And thy redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, the God, of the whole earth shall he be called. For the Lord has called thee as a woman forsaken and grieved in spirit and a wife of youth when thou wast refused, saith thy God. For a small moment have I forsaken thee, but with great mercies will I gather thee. In a little wrath I hid my face from thee for a moment. But with everlasting kindness will I gather mercy on thee. Excuse me. Will I have mercy on thee, saith the Lord, thy Redeemer. For this is as the waters of Noah unto me. For as I have sworn that the waters of Noah should no more go over the earth, so have I sworn that I would not be wroth with thee, nor rebuke thee. For the mountains shall depart and the hills be removed, but... My kindness shall not depart from thee, neither shall the covenant of my peace be removed, saith the Lord, that has mercy on thee. 
O thou afflicted, tossed with tempest and not comforted. Behold, I will lay thy stones with fair colors and lay thy foundations with sapphires. I will make thy windows of agates and thy gates of carbuncles and all thy borders of pleasant stones. Listen, that's God's way of saying, when all the dust is settled, oh, you're going to come out smelling like a rose. He's going to make you look good. He's going to make your life worth living. That is what God means when he says, I will give you beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for the spirit of heaviness. I am telling you, God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all you could ask or think. Listen, what you don't realize is your heartbreak, your shame, your loss. It, 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 it's not a mind blower for God. It's not a surprise to him. It's, it's not a big deal to him. It's an easy fix to you. You look at it as the impossible dream. I mean, it's, to you, it's impossible. But with God, all things are possible. Don't forget that. You are not living in a hopeless situation. You may feel hopeless. Excuse me, the oxygen I take during the night <laughs> does that to my nose. You may feel hopeless. You may feel as if, what's the use? You may feel like you can't take another thing going wrong. But great is his faithfulness. Great are his plans for you. Great is his ability to heal you and restore. He is the resurrection and the life. Don't lose heart. Know that you are in his hands. He knows how to take care of what belongs to him. Do you belong to him? You're in good hands. Be encouraged. Don't lose hope. Know that you serve a risen Savior, not a dead one, baby. And he is able. He is able. There's a song that says, when peering through a window blurred with rain, emotions run together in a flood of doubt and pain. We've prayed as best we can now. We must leave it in his hands. Yet I know when my eyes fail to see, he is able. And even though it seems impossible to me, he is able. And if, if he chooses not to move in the way I prayed he would, I'm confident. He's working all together for my good. And I will stand upon his word, for he is able. Questions seem to haunt me night and day. How could God allow my heart to be torn this way? Does he listen when I call? Is he even there at all? Yet I know. When my eyes fail to see, he is able. And even though it seems impossible to me, he is able. And if he chooses not to move in the way we prayed he would, we've got to be confident that he's working everything for our good. And we must stand behind his word, for he is able. He is able now. He is able.
Keep believing here. Don't lose faith now. Your redemption draweth nigh. Look up. Look up to the hills from whence cometh your help. Your help comes from the Lord. Your redemption draweth nigh. Do not give up. In the name of Jesus. I rebuke that spirit of suicide. I rebuke the spirit of depression. In the name of Jesus, thou shalt live and not die. God bless you.